Let us now understand how to factor when fractions are involved. We have four examples here. So we'll first factor and then expand and check our result. The first one is half of x minus 4. The second, one third of x minus 2. Then we have one third of y minus 1. One fourth of x minus 2. In such cases, it is a good practice to factor the coefficient of x, which is half in this case. So let us factor half and see what do we get. So in this case, if I factor half, that means within the brackets, we have to write something which should be divided by half, right? So we have half x, and since I have factored half, if I divide it by half, what do I get? I'm left with x. Dividing by half is as good as multiplying by 2, right? So that's what we did to get our result as x. Now minus 4. Minus 4, when I factor half, what should I get? It should be minus 4 times 2, correct? So it is x minus 2. Let us check if this is right or not. So to check, we will expand using distributive property. We'll multiply x with half and minus 8 with half. What do we get? Half times x is half x and minus 8 half of 8 is 4. So we get the original expression. That means the factoring is correct, right? So factoring, as you know, is a process of writing in product form and expansion means writing in somewhat different form. Let's continue. Now the next one for us is one third of x minus two. So in this case, I can factor one over three. So I'm left with just x here. What do I get in this position? It should be minus two times three, which is minus six. You can always expand and check, right? Now in this case, one third y, let us factor one over three. We're left with y minus three. And here, we get one fourth as a common factor, x minus four times two, eight. So that is how you factor coefficients of the variable in such expressions. I hope that helps. Thank you.